hey guys welcome to this video welcome to another interesting video of mine so this is all about me and my pregnancy most of the things that pregnancy has turned me into things that i do i do these days that on a normal day i don't do them one of those things is this taking of medicine daily medicine daily drugs taking guys ah it's another thing, you know, because these drugs is something that you're supposed to be taking once every day. Once every day. Normally, when I had my first baby, I used to take all these routine drugs that are plenty and they used to smell. But guys, now I don't take them again. I only take this one that is all in one. And even this one also, I find it so difficult taking. See, I just feel like throwing up after taking the drugs. So sit down and enjoy this video, guys. Don't go anywhere, don't touch the dial, don't skip anything, don't skip my ads. Please watch the ads, guys. I love you, I love you. Okay. Guys, eh? This is one of the things I hate. This is one of the things I hate, but because of pregnancy, I'm taking it. I hate taking medicine, honestly. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like throwing up. <laughs> I am taking medicine. But because of pregnancy, guys, I have my whole life, my life, I've known that I have to take this every morning. And taking this thing every morning is like stress. It's just like, what? Well, can you imagine? This is like, I think it is to 11 now. Yeah, some minutes to 11, and I'm just taking the medicine because I've been contemplating since morning whether to take it or not to take it. Most times I used to skip it. <laughs> Most times I used to skip it because I'm scared, I don't want to take it. Oh, that's what my life has turned to. There are so many things that I'm doing now that I find um, I find myself doing, but normally I don't do it. So guys, there are so many things that I find myself doing. Sometimes I'll just sit down and I'll just be thinking. It's just odd. Like for example, <laughs> This, this one is so, so odd. It's not odd. Can you, can you believe that your girl, your girl now finds where she's sitting in the toilet? <laughs> oh my god. Basically, I'll just go to the toilet. I'll go there and relax. Yeah, I don't normally go to the toilet that is in our room because if I relax in that toilet, maybe if I'm dead racing phone or I'm just relaxing there, my husband will always come there and start asking me what's the problem. Why are you here? Come out, you know. He finds it so odd. And uh, that's why I will now just snitch and go outside to him. This first toilet that is outside, I will just go there and sit down and relax. I can stay there for 30 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. I'll just stay there and be pressing my phone. And I'll just feel as if heaven is on earth. That um, toilet, um, hot odor, that, that odor that you find that you sit in the toilet, is what, is what I find joy in doing these days. So that's one of the things. That one is so odd. It's so so odd. I find joy in staying in the toilet. I stay in the toilet most of my time at home. I stay in the toilet. I press my phone there. I I just find rest there. And another thing that um that is just doing me now is that I eat street food a lot. Normally, my normal life, I'm not really the type that eats out. I'm not really the type that eats out as in this mama food spot. I don't normally go to mama food to eat. Um, but these days, even if I finish eating in my house and I'm stepping out, once I'm stepping out, I'll normally go out. I'll normally buy something and eat. And I mean, so I give me either give me fried plantain or give me this or eat a bunch of, but I must eat something that day. I must buy something outside and eat. And there's this my friend also. I normally go to her house. Even if I call her, she says she don't have food. I'll just carry food from my house and take my house and we stay there and eat it. And it's just it's very sweet to me. Most times I will call her, did you cook? You know, she will tell me that yeah, she cooked, but she did not cook. I'll go there and eat and she be satisfied. Guys, I, I, I hope you don't mind my face. Pregnancy has really done a lot on me. Pregnancy has really done a whole, whole lot on me. I can't even stay here and start talking about it because it's not something. If I start now to talk about it, I don't think I can finish today. All the days, all my life that I've been pregnant, this one is just 
a very different one. Now, it's, it's, very, it's very, very funny that this is my first pregnancy and I'm still seeing all the signs. Normally, I thought as you're going, as you're aging, the things will become very easier for you. But this one now taught me that as you're aging, I don't know if the things will now become very difficult. <laughs> I don't know if it's becoming very difficult because this one, what I'm seeing here now, is not what I bargained for. I didn't bargain for this at all. So that's just it, my love. That's my life updates now. I've been off quietly for a long time now, just because of some things that is happening in my life, some things that um, most times I don't find the strength to come and put on my camera and start talking. Um, most times I I don't have the zeal to come and start talking. And most of my friends have been calling me, they've been texting me, say, ah, come now, come back, come back, come back. But hopefully, the last video I did, I said I'm back. But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't back. Unfortunately, I wasn't back. I was so disappointed. But now, I just pray. I hope that I'm fully back. I just pray God to give me the strength. Must just give me the strength so that I will be back fully. And mm -hmm. that's just it, guys. Um, I just pray to be back. I just pray to be back fully, okay? Um, I don't know what else to say. Let's just hope. Let's pray that I'm back fully. I think I'll be bringing some of the. Since I'm still pregnant, I'm not. I've not yet put birth. So I've been bringing some of my most of my pregnancy content here yeah, so that you all see it. I'm so glad that at least I have the strength to do this video today, which means that I'm becoming stronger. I'm becoming stronger because this um first trimester used to used to be very very hard on me. And my second trimester was not really hard. It was still somehow, but this one now, at least I'm becoming stronger. So guys, I still have so many life updates that I've not told you guys. I still have so many things that have been going on left, right, and center, front and back that I've not told you guys. But since I'm back, I promise I'm gonna unveil everything. There are so many things about me now that you don't know about your baby girl now that you don't know. So many changes. There are so many life upgrades. There are so many upgrades. I've stepped some steps. I've, I've climbed some steps. I've not told you. But since I'm back, I hope. I hope. I'm, hopefully, I'm going to. <laughs> hopefully, I'm going to unveil all of them one after the other, step by step. Okay. I love you so much. I love you so much. I think I'm going to stop here for today. Until we meet, meet in my next video. I love you so much. Take good care of yourself. Bye.